Hello everyone and welcome back to Rocky. So, just right off the bat, just right out the gate, I do want to explore back here. See what's going on with this building. This water wheelhouse, I think would be the correct term. The correct, uh, title. Ooh, is that a way tree? It is, but there's a whole bunch of weird tentacles. <laughs> uh, so, can I use the dagger on the tentacles? Definitely can't cut through them with this blunt old thing. Okay, well, it was worth a shot. Maybe if we get it honed. Maybe if we uh, find a way to sharpen it. Ooh. Uh, we'll be able to cut through the tentacles. Mayhaps. Hint, hint. Wink, wink. Okay. What's down here? A whole bunch of pebbles. Oh, old coins. Maybe this was a place for making wishes. I could do with some wishes coming true right about now. No, it's okay, Tube. We'll figure it out. See, the thing about wishes is they don't always necessarily come true. So, you know, at least if you put the work in yourself, you have a better idea of what the outcome is going to be like. Hopefully. Maybe. Are those coins down there? Probably. If this is where people made wishes. And <laughs> just a lot of people missed. Okay. That's why all those old coins are there. So... That's down there, for some reason. Maybe if we need old coins, we can go and collect them somehow. What's going on in here? There's a bowl. Is this for, like, a, a kitty? Or a puppy? Maybe? A bowl. What's this doing here? No, oh, Mama would put out bowls of food like this. She said it would bring the tiny tomte to help in the house. I said I'd be her tiny tomte. That's what she called me. And Lars. Though, he'd make the worst Tomte ever. <laughs> but I'm not sure I was much more help than he is. But maybe here. Maybe here if we set out some food, the Tomtes will come? Maybe. Okay, can we put the oats in the bowl? Maybe? Uh -huh. They won't go together. Well, not with that attitude. Okay. <laughs> uh, real quick, what is that on the barrel? Is there something on the barrel? There is. Matches. No adventurer should be without them. Unless that adventurer is like a pyromaniac, in which case they should probably leave them at home. Or not have them at all. <laughs> okay. Can we not head up from here? Okay. Well, I guess that's just there for decoration, so in that case, we'll go ahead and head down. For not many other options. I guess we could have headed out, but I do want to explore this... This house. This building. Before we start uh, venturing off into new places. Okay. What's this? An old grindstone. So old it's not working. Hmm. Maybe there's a way we can get it back up and running? Possibly, hopefully. You know, and then we could use the dagger on it. Hone the dagger so it's nice and sharp again. Is this a handle? It is. Can we also interact with the mallet? We can. A mallet. The king of tools. How did it get that title? Wait, 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 wait. How did it move up the hierarchy that quickly? What does that make screwdrivers then? Or hammers? I don't know. Looks like the shaft is broken. <laughs> shaft. It sounds painful. And these cogs are way too heavy to lift by myself. Okay. Oh, troll friends. <laughs> I feel bad because any anytime she's like, oh, this looks like way too heavy for me. I'm just like, oh, trolls. <laughs> you guys are strong, you know? Or at least I assume. Uh, so maybe you guys would know how to help us with that. I guess they would have a hard time getting down there, though. That does make things a bit trickier. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess we can't go that way. Can we explore over here? Why is that broken? That's weird. Just a random broken tree. Okay. I guess it's having a rough day. Oh! Oh! Can I use the handle on this? Yeah, a perfect fit. I was like, something's missing here. <laughs> One of these things is not like the other. I've seen this before in water wells, so I know there's supposed to be a handle somewhere. Bet the bucket's gonna have holes in it or something. Hopefully not, that sounds counterintuitive. I love it when I'm proved wrong. Yeah, okay, sweet, we have a bucket. It's river water, so clear and sparkly. 
Okay. Can we combine the oats in the water? No. Can we combine the water with the uh, bowl? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Um, I don't know. I'm just trying to make porridge, man. I'm just trying to make oats. You know, some nice little oatmeal. I guess technically you have to cook it, so it wouldn't be very tasty otherwise. Okay. Oh, hey. <laughs> I just I just put two and two together. Um, mayhaps we can put the oats in here. There we go. Oats. A bit dry and flaky, though. I'd better add some water. I am one step ahead of you. Or at least we're on the same page. Fresh water makes the best porridge. Okay. Uh, so we have matches. But we don't have any wood. First principle of fire starting, find good kindling. Okay, well, I mean, there's plenty of wood around here. Is there something we could use? Can we use this? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's using the old noggin. Nice dry wood. It'll burn easily. Okay, is there anything else we can interact with in here? Nope, that's it. Okay. I keep forgetting I can click the stick in to see what there is I can interact with. It kind of feels like cheating sometimes, but I guess it wouldn't be there if, you know, you're not supposed to use it or if it was cheating, so... Might as well use it to the best of our abilities. Reminds me of camping. Papa burned all the marshmallows. You say that like it's a bad thing. <laughs> like, maybe it's just personal preference, but I like toasted marshmallows to the point where they're practically burnt, you know? I like things crispy. What can I say? <sighs> Let's get cooking. And we have two matches left. Nice. I'll be hanging on to those. It smells good. Just need something to serve it in. Well, lucky for us, we do in fact have a bowl. If this is, in fact, the combination we're looking for? Yeah, there we go. I kind of hope the Tomte doesn't want this porridge. It's making me hungry. Well, maybe the Tomte is willing to share. You can just sneak a bite real quick. They wouldn't know the difference. Okay. So, I assume we need to take the bowl, place it back in this spot. I hope this works, tiny Tomte. Wait, are you talking about Lars or an actual Tomte? Either way, I'm sure something will happen. Something definitely happened. <laughs> it's like a mouse. Aw. Whoa. A magical mouse with a really dope beard. <laughs> okay. It's a Tomte. Do you want to help me? Well, I do need to fix the grindstone. Oh, okay. That's quite the trick. <laughs> he means business. Or he's running away. Only one way to find out. Hopefully he means business. Cool. We're a Tomte Summoner. They're kind of cute. They kind of remind me of gnomes a little bit. Um, but definitely quirkier. Whoa. That's cool. How did he do that? I think it's fixed. Thank you, Tante. You will always be my favorite fairy tale. Yo, same. <laughs> if I if I put out some oatmeal, can I get some Tomtes to help me around the house? My carpets need cleaning. Okay. High five. Oh. Maybe not. Yeah, probably not. Okay. So now that the grindstone is taken care of. Can we go ahead and use the dagger on it? There we go. I think I just place the edge here against it and... Ta-da! Ta-da! Much better. Okay. Hey, presto. Time to put this away. Very carefully. Okay. Do we have a nice refurbished dagger now? We do. Okay. Let's go ahead and see if we can put that to use then. Thank you again, Tiny Tomte. I guess you'll just be hanging out here for the time being. I don't know, could they help us with anything else? Can I pick up the bowl? No, that would be mean. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad that's not an option. I just realized they didn't even they didn't even have a chance to, you know, eat. So I would feel pretty bad about taking their food. He's like, okay, you did your job, now I'm just gonna take your payment. 
Okay, so let me go ahead, use the dagger on this. Take two. There we go. Hey ho, what do you know? We got a new way tree. Allow me. Nicely done. That'll teach those nasty old vines or tentacles, whatever they are. Whew, they were tough. Oh, wait, tree. Wakey, wakey. At last, they're gone. Oh, a child. Was it you? Are you my little savior? Huh. Oh, uh, yes, I suppose I am. Are you okay now? The great mother tree sent me to find you. And find me you did. Thank you, child. Anytime. Ah, oh, yes, I can feel the connection strengthening. It certainly sounds like it. Okay. <laughs> da 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 da! We have a new waypoint! Oh, great mother tree, how I missed your presence. Thank you again, child. Our rootways are yours. Oh, thank you. Okay. Cool, so now we have a new shortcut. Okay, is that everything? I mean, I think we could use the dagger over here. If there were, if I remember correctly, there were tentacles over here. Let me see. We can start exploring new areas. I mean, we still have a lot to work on. We still need to help a lot of folks, you know, in the parts of the forest we've already been to. But I kind of want to see a new area. I kind of want to see what's over here. Yeah. Let's slice and dice. Let's do it. Whew, that did it. Sweet. Okay. New area. Ooh. That's cool. The mushrooms are like jellyfish. Jelly mushrooms. That's really cool. That's a fun combo. Okay. What's this? I have no idea. What happened here? There's a massive handprint. Not human. The ground's freshly dug up, too. Is it a troll? Was a troll looking for, uh... I don't know. Truffles or something? Maybe? Mayhaps. Okay. This is cool. I like this area. I'm still hesitant about the weird, like, little crafty and tentacle things. You know? They they make me kind of uneasy, but I definitely like the mushrooms. I don't know why, but it kind of reminds me of a uh, slime rancher. I guess because it's just really bouncy looking and very jelly-like. Okay. What's this say? It says something. Sadly, I'm not too familiar with the language. Whoa. Some runes. Huh? But what do they mean? Hey friend, hey Crookling. Would you maybe be willing to tell us what the runes say if you know what they say? Ooh. I've got to cross, but there must be a less slimy way. Okay, I guess we can't say hi to the Crookling. Oh, we can. <laughs> Hedge, little guy, do you live here? I do. Every Crookling needs his own pond. It's my right. I won't go back. Huh? Won't go. Huh? I don't understand. I only wanted to ask if there were any Yontar nearby. Yontar. Don't know anything about that. Please, leave me be. Okay. Good talk and good, good conversation, I guess. Hi! What just happened? Did that fungus just move? <laughs> it's like it reacted to me being here. That's not possible, is it? Stranger things have happened. <laughs> we know. We've seen. Okay. I'm sorry that I'm not reading the journal entries. Like, maybe for one episode I'll just, like, have a story time, you know, and read all the journal entries. But I do want to keep moving. I do want to see what there is to see around here. Ooh, another way tree. Okay. Perfect. There we go. Go ahead and chop these up. Let me see if I can free you. And then we'll go ahead and see if we can scare the ravens away. Hopefully that'll do it. 
Phew, they were tough. It seems like they are. They're some tough customers. Okay, you get out of here. I'll show you what for with my dagger. I wouldn't actually hurt them, but still. <laughs> uh, was that enough? Is that good? Looks like the way tree is still under attack. Where? Do I need to clear out the raven that's over here? Get out of here. Shoot. Time for you to skedaddle. There we go. Ta-da! Ah, thank you, little one. We don't know what's gotten into the forest lately. But for certain, it's nothing good. Yeah, something strange is definitely going on here. We've only been here for like an hour, but you know, it definitely feels off. Are you all right now? The Great Mother Tree sent me to find you. Yes, yes. We'll be fine now. Though we're not sure about everyone else in these woods. Hmm. I can feel the rootways reaching. Wait for it. Almost. There we go. It's a bit of a trip, huh? Okay. We're just opening way trees left and right, man. Yes, that's it. We are reconnected to the Great Mother. You have helped us so much. Our rootways are your rootways. Glad I could help. <laughs> My roots are your roots. Mikasa, Sukasa. Okay. Cool. So now we have a shortcut to here as well, which is nifty. What's this? Some more runes. Looks like they turn as well. Okay. Is this a situation of match the runes? Probably. So let me just head over here real quick and see. Can we get another close up? So it's an M, an upside down Y, and a D slash P looking shape. Okay. Noted. M, upside down Y, and then a D or a P shape. Okay. Oh boy, this is gonna take a hot minute. One more time. There we go. So we have our M. Then we need our upside down Y. Or I guess it could kind of be like an H too. There we go. And then this shape. We'll get there eventually. I do like that sound. The sound of the stone turning. It's kind of, I don't know. It's kind of ASMR-y. <laughs> there we go. Ta-da. Ta-da. Yes! Secret tunnel, secret tunnel, through the runes. Secret, 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 secret lab. Whoa. Okay. Is it time for potions already? I found an empty jar. So naturally, we're just gonna take it. <laughs> Something about a Tuve just taking things sometimes, it makes me a little bit nervous. Okay. I mean, I'm not saying she has you know, uh, a tendency to be a bit of a kleptomaniac, but at the same time, she's not afraid of the five finger discount or just taking things without asking, I guess. Huh. I'm sure a trowel would come in handy. You enjoy taking my things, do you? Uh, am I hearing things? No, probably not. The sound of your conscience, perhaps. I'm sorry, where, whoever you are? I'm just trying to find my brother. And does that warrant petty theft? No, but there was a monster and it took him. And there are trolls and trees with eyes and... I'm supposed to find some guardians to help me. Hmm, did you say guardians? The Jontar? Yes. Do you know where they are? So you're the girl in the forest that everyone is whispering about. The forest is whispering? Yes, I think I can help you. You can? Really? Perhaps, but there is dark magic at work. The forest folk are afraid. Is the cauldron talking to us? Is there someone in the cauldron? 
We must keep ourselves hidden now, as a matter of course. So, what can we do? I will help, if you help us. First, you must make sure you can move unseen. I shall make you a powerful mask. Ah, oh, no, I've seen the mask. I've seen Jim Carrey's The Mask. I know how this is gonna go. You will need to gather the materials. Okay, if it will help. What do you need? First, the essence of... Oh, look. I'll just write it down for you. Whoa! This is like some Merlin levels of, like, magic and sorcery going on. There. Just bring the ingredients to my cauldron. Come and check the list whenever you need. Thank you. I will. Okay. I mean, not to say that I wouldn't trust a talking cauldron, you know, if I just so happened to pass by a talking cauldron. But at the same time, we don't really know you that well. <laughs> so, how do we know this isn't a trick? I guess I'll just have to move on in good faith. Right, what do I need? Skull of a ram. It's a pretty morbid start. Two nightmare parasites. N n nightmare parasites? That doesn't sound good. No, they are foul things, twisted by dark energy. They feed on power in exchange for strange visions. You will know them when you see them. Okay, lastly, I need the hair of a bearded croak. Oh, yes, that one might be a little tricky to procure. You might try searching around bodies of water. Ponds, like pools, and that sort of thing. And the hairs will just be lying around. I doubt it. You may need leverage. It sounds ominous. Why would I need... Just remind her of her sons. Offer to help. Okay. Got it. I think. Didn't know we were working with the Riddler. Okay. Did I write down the ingredients by any chance? I did. Thank you. I was about to say, I really don't want to have to come back here every time I need to, you know, uh, remember or look up what it is that we need. So I appreciate that we wrote it down in the journal. Okay, I mean, it's only three ingredients. And I feel like uh, once we find them, it'll be pretty obvious. But uh, it sounds like we have some shopping to do. Okay, can't go that way. Good talk, good talk. Maybe this croaking knows something about, uh, you know, hair of the croak? Still enjoying your swampy pond? I am. I never want to leave. Okay, hey, out of curiosity. Do you know, oh, hello? Do you know about, hold on, wait for it. Do you know the hair of the bearded croak, mayhaps? I mean, I'm not just jumping to conclusions here because you're a croakling, <laughs> definitely not. Um, I just figured, you know, you seem like you know the place pretty well. Maybe you know what that is. You know, it seems like you're pretty comfortable around here. You know your way around this forest. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna work, okay. I forgot, they're not much of one for conversation. So I may as well just be talking to a brick wall. Okay. Well, I'm not quite sure what else we can do in that area. We can't really travel any further since the vines keep getting in the way. So I kind of want to head back. I kind of wanted to head back anyways because, uh, you know, there's still some stuff left undone. Oh, hold on. That is something I wanted to do. I wanted to see. Can I plant the flower in here? Nothing happened. Okay. Because we had a trowel, and that reminded me of the hole in the ground here. So I was curious if maybe we could uh, plant the flower there for some reason. I don't know. Maybe it's something that we have to come back to later. Like, maybe we are supposed to plant the flower there. But uh, I need to, you know, unlock a certain story thing before we can do that. Oh no, it looks like the sickness is spreading. No, oh, that makes me so sad. For many reasons. It makes me sad because that means, like, these big, you know, wiggly jiggly mushrooms are actually bad news. They seem so cute, though. Look at the size of that fungus. Gross. It's pretty big. It's a big one. Okay. Oh, wow. It really did spread, huh? Jeez Louise. Okay. That escalated quickly. Okay. 
But if that's everything over here, I'm not sure if it would be best to continue opening new areas or if maybe I should, you know, try to figure out what we should do with the stuff we already need to get done. You know, I don't want to put too much on my plates. But at the same time, maybe opening new areas opens new opportunities to find new stuff and things. One can only hope. Okay. So I forget, what are we doing in here? We need to find something to distract Trollhold with. So we can help our croakling friend. What is this? What made this? No, oh, pesky slugs. They'll be hiding around here somewhere. Yeah, I think there's one behind the croakling. So we still need to figure out how to distract Trollhold so we can help the croakling. We need to find a snack for that other croakling. I think that was everything. I mean, there's stuff, obviously, um, like at the, the church and stuff like that, you know? Like, there's still, like, pieces of the puzzles that we need to solve, but in terms of, like, you know, creatures we need to help. I think that's everything. Okay. There's still a lot of gizmos and gadgets we need to figure out how to work. And we still need to figure out what's in here, in this den. I don't think we've been down here yet. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and solve that mystery. This seems ominous. Just a wee bit ominous. But maybe someone's cooking something tasty? Looks like something's, you know, wafting through the breeze. Hi. A giant cat? At least cats don't eat little girls, right? Uh, hello there. <laughs> they sound so, like, miff. They're like, oh, you ruined my nap. I'm Tuve. What's your name? Oh god, that's that's a name. Um, <laughs> that's a heckin' name that I'm gonna heckin' mess up, so I apologize in advance. Um... I am Jolaku Turin, I think. Oh, you mean you're the Yule Cat? I am the Great Devourer. I am the woe of those with no new clothes. And yes, I am sometimes known as the Yule Cat. Great, that's what I'm going to call you, because I apologize, I cannot pronounce your name. <laughs> they used to live in fear of me, but no longer. Oh, why not? The Yule Cat is hungry, Black Knight. The Yule Cat is the sinking Black Dread. The Yule Cat is not gray. Huh? Not gray? What do you mean? Clearly you're gray. My fur is going gray. This is unacceptable for the Yule Cat. <sighs> oh, I see. Maybe I can help. <laughs> Humans don't help the mighty Yule Cat. You talk about yourself a lot in the third person. You know, just saying. Maybe the Yule Cat should stop doing that and maybe people would be more willing to help. They feed him. Oh. <gasps> feed? Mm, but... I thought you weren't feeling so mighty anymore. <laughs> no, and they're like, wow, way to hurt the pride. This is true. So be it. Return my fur to its obsidian splendor, and I will skip your house next Yule. Even if you don't have new clothes. <laughs> That's it? That doesn't sound like a great deal. You dare refuse the Yule Cat's blessing? <gasps> nah, I accept it. Yeah, that's probably for the best. It's probably best not to anger the giant cat <laughs> that likes to he eat people. Very well. I await your return. Okay. Good talk. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I mean, you already have, like, a giant piece of meat roasting. But, uh, you know, I don't know what your appetite is like, so I don't want to push it. Aha. More rags. Never know when they'll come in handy. Sure, and let's just steal from the giant cat as well. I'm sure they would love that. I'm sure that's not going to make them really angry at us. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like we're tempting fate here, so we should probably just go. Especially since I hear them prowling now. They're doing something. I don't want to find out what. Okay. Well, that happened. <laughs> just a giant cat. You know, just hanging out down there. Okay. Uh, actually, 
I think what I'm going to do, now that we got introduced to the Yule Cat, is I am going to leave this episode here. And in the next episode, I guess we'll start opening new areas and exploring new worlds, or at least new places in the forest. But yeah, I'm kind of excited. Now that we have the dagger, we can actually start going into new areas, new sections, and hopefully we'll find some stuff to help us with uh, all the tasks we need to get done. Uh, but yeah, that is going to do it for this episode for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and of course I do want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you in our next little adventure. Bye!